barrel-mounted swivel stud is typically used on heavy recoiling hunting rifles, and we're going to install one on this gun. I'm going to install a swivel stud similar to the one on this rifle made by Rigby. This band is made by Tally, and it's available in several diameters to match the barrel contour. To select the proper band, I'll need to determine its location on the barrel. There's no standard location for the band, but I'm going to install this one about three inches from the tip of the forend. Now I'll measure the barrel's diameter where the band will be located, and choose the one that most closely matches. In this instance, about 760 thousandths. Since the inside diameter of the band is a bit undersized, I'll need an adjustable reamer to open it up. After adjusting the reamer to proper diameter, I secure the barrel band in a vise and using plenty of cutting oil, ream it out. That's about right. Now we're ready to profile the band. Notice how smooth the band's edges are on this Rigby rifle, while the edges on our band are still sharp. We'll clean that up a bit. I'm using a shop made fixture to hold the band, along with some dicum and a number two Swiss pillar file for contouring. It doesn't take long to knock off these edges. A needle file is just the ticket for rounding the edges along the side of the stud. All that's left is to polish it up. Quite an improvement over where we started. To permanently attach the band to the barrel, I'll use some soft solder and a propane torch. I start by securing the band in a vise and clean the inside surface using some cloth-backed abrasive. A generous amount of flux is added to the inside of the band, and using a medium flame, I heat the band until the solder begins to melt. Wiping the molten solder with a bit of steel wool leaves a thin layer on the metal. This process is called tinning. After orienting the barrel to action properly, I'll mark the band's location and clean the barrel using some abrasive cloth. Now I can flux the barrel along with the inside of the band and set it in position. Adding pencil lead to the metal around the band will prevent any extra solder from sticking. Again, using a medium flame, I heat the barrel and band evenly until the solder flows. After everything is cool, I'll make sure it's secure. Now that's firmly attached.